Hey everybody, it's Owen from Owen's Lab, and today I have the Bat Space Shuttle. This is a set that only exists to sell toys and market. Nah, but I fell for it, because I'm an idiot. Just kidding. It is a cool set, and I do like it. So, I'll be building this and showing it to you. So listen, I'm not sure if this set ever appeared in the movie. It does connect to the Batcave break-in from a little while ago, which did exist in the movie. So, um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was in the movie and he just didn't use it and it was just kind of like a little background thing. I'm really not sure, but all I know is that they make a lot of vehicles for this guy. They made a Batmobile, they made a Scuttler, they made a Batwing, they made a Bat Tank, a Bat Motorcycle, a Bat Plane, Bat Space Shuttle. Just put Bat in front of anything. So it is what it is, but um, let's enjoy it because it is a cool set. Alright, well, oh, it's not that much. Five seconds later. This is so much! So this set comes with five bags, one other bag full of really big pieces, one instruction booklet, and one sticker sheet. So here we have bags one, two, and three laid out. So let's get building. Alright guys, here's the completed set. Let's start with the minifigures. So here's Batman's regular suit. You know, generic, normal Batman. The set comes with white heads for the additional suits. I put a white head in this one because I want regular Batman to be in the fire starter suit because it looks really cool. So that's regular Batman. And then we have fire starter Batman. He's red and instead of the regular Batman suit on his chest, he has a um, flaming one which is really cool. I gave him a batarang and a little spear or a little arrow. He's got two faces. He's got his regular mm, face and then his <gasps> face. All right, that's fire starter Batman. Here is spacesuit Batman. He's basically just a regular astronaut, but he's got a Batman suit. If you take off his helmet, you can see he's got a white face, and then he's got some different air tubes sticking out the front. Sadly, you cannot open and close the gold part of the helmet, but that's all right, it really doesn't matter to me. He's got his little utility belt, comes with a cape, you know, normal stuff. All right, that's spacesuit Batman. Hey man, we got reggae man. So basically, this suit is Robin's suit, but before it was Robin's suit. <laughs> he's got a gold cape, long brown hair, a really big reggae hat, and then he's got green short sleeves and green gloves. He's got the pants that Robin oh so much hates. He's either in tights or in very short shorts, which is not, not okay. That's reggae man. Here is Robin, but in Dick Grayson form. He comes with a red sweater with a white undershirt. You can see the collar a little bit. And he's got a belt on with jeans. And he's got his goggles. He's got two faces. His surprised face, like, oh, oh my God, this is amazing. And then he's got his regular smiley face, like, oh, I'm so excited. All right, that's Robin. Here's Catwoman. She's in an all purple jumpsuit. And if you to look at the zipper, it's a cat, which is really cute. Her helmet does come off to reveal two faces. She's got her smiley face and then she's got her face like she's trying to kill you, Batman. She comes with a whip, which is really cool. And she has a utility belt, much like Batman, except this is purple and not yellow. All right, that's Catwoman. Here is the bat canoe. It's just a black canoe with a little seat. And then it's got a motor with some bat wings attached to it. It's really cool. If you look at the back, you can see the motor. And then these kind of rotate outwards, but um, you know, keep them like this. Pretty simple, but um, here, I'm gonna put Robin in there because I don't want Batman's cape getting mixed up. So keep it put Robin in there. It's pretty cute. And there he is, he's just checking it out. He's like, ooh, bat canoe. It's just a canoe, but you know, it's still pretty cool. All right, that's the bat canoe. Here's the command center. Starting over here, we have the rotating back canoe display stand. Just kind of rotates like that on a ratchet joint. And then you can put it on there, just like so. And then you can still spin this a bit if you want to. Over here, we have the docking center where the ship can dock. But I'll try to dock him so that you can see. You just kind of push it in there. I'll show you the ship separately. Then over here, we have the rotating reflectors that they move separately and they just move like that. 
Pretty cool. Then we have a little control module. It's got a little picture of Reggae Man Bat Suit. And then it's got a couple of little panels and things like that that move up and down. This red button doesn't do anything. In the movie, he probably pressed it and it's like, self-destructive mode activated. And he's like, oh crap. <laughs> then over here, we have the weapons rack. We got three arrows, one little grappling hook for the grapple gun, and then a couple of batarangs. It's really cool. If you look at the side over here, you can see it's got like some rocky details, which really gives it the impression that it is a cave. And then back here we have the bat suit rack. This moves left and right, like so. This folds back. So that's the command center. I'll hook them all up later after I show you the ship. But that's it for that. Here's the bat shuttle. It's basically a regular space shuttle, but batterized. So I'm gonna show you the different parts separately. First, I'm gonna start with the extra shuttle. They detach pretty simply. You just kinda pull. There you go, pretty stiff. It's got these two little studs. It's got these two little compartments. You just shove it in there. Here's the shuttle itself. Starting at the nose, we have a Batman symbol. Then we have yellow windshields. It says Bat Shuttle on the front on either side in quotations. Moving over to the side area, it's got two stud shooters you just kind of press down. It's got a caution thing because duh, it is a wing and it's by missiles and things like that. And it's got a couple of bat wings up here that rotate up like that. I suppose you could put them up like that if you wanted to, but that kind of looks ridiculous. This rotates a little bit like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's maybe a gun. Then this flap goes up and down like so, same as the other side. Basically all this stuff is on the other side. Here's the back. It is clearly labeled exhaust, so there's no confusion. It's actually got three exhaust parts. It's got this big one and then these two small ones on the side. Coming over to the front again, this part comes off to reveal the inside, which is basically just a seat for one, levers to help maneuver, and one control panel with a couple of buttons meters, radars, things of that nature. And then coming to the center, it opens as well to reveal a little tiny bat rover. It's got a little steering wheel, satellite, pulls pretty nicely. In the back, it's got a little bat symbol. Then in the front, it's got a light and another utility part. It's pretty simple. This folds down, all you have to do is kind of fold that, put it like that. It goes back into the space shuttle. I suppose if you wanted to, you could fold that up like that and then kind of sort of close it so that it's like a radar type thing. So that's basically it for the shuttle, pretty nice. Moving on, we have the fuel tank and rockets. Um, you can see that this part is probably just a fuel tank because this part is very skinny. It's just about as skinny as the rest of the rockets. It's mostly gray with a black top. And then uh, the rockets are mostly black with some gray. Here's the top, it's got these little connectors. Just wanted to show you that. It has warning signs on either rocket, so make sure you don't play with that, kids. And it's got a bat symbol. So um, that's basically it for the fuel tank and rockets. So now I'm gonna put it all together. All right, there you go. Um, so basically we have little Robin, he's admiring the awesomeness of the bat shuttle. And then we got a little fight scene going on between Firestarter Batman and Catwoman. Catwoman is attempting to do a backflip. Then we have Batman. He somehow got up there without a grapple gun. He's just trying to pounce. We got the suits over here. It's very whimsical and charming. And I like it. All right, guys, that was the Bat Space Shuttle. Tell me what you think of this set. And tell me, did you see this in the movie? Because I don't recall seeing this in the movie. As I was building, I was thinking maybe this did appear in the movie as like a little background thing. When maybe Robin was exploring the bat cave and he was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm really not sure, but if you know, tell me. That's all I have for you today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.